Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. A story that long captivated my heart was the story of Kamaya Mobley. Now you hear of kidnappings that are pretty outrageous, but this one really took the cake for me. And to see it happen in our own community, it really baffled me. Well, this story has been greenlit for a Lifetime movie and will be produced by Good Morning America's very own Robin Roberts. This movie will star Niecy Nash, Raven Simone Farrell, and Taronda Jones. Now for those that don't know about this story or just need a refresher in 1998 a newborn baby girl was stolen from a maternity ward in Jacksonville just hours after her birth with her mother and grandmother offering comfort 16 year old Shannara Mobley is reliving Friday afternoon again and again she still can't make any sense of what happened and why someone did it Please, please, man, my baby, I know you, if you don't have no kids, if you, I mean, if you was faking a pregnancy or, I mean, you just can't have no kids, I mean, how you think I feel? I, oh, true enough, I'm only 16 years old, but I have fantasy, that's my first child. A newborn named Kamaya, who never came home to sleep in her new bassinet or to play with her new toys. The family is a bundle of nerves. I worry about the baby health, what's the baby going through, and my granddaughter, because emotionally she's about to break down. Soon after the abduction, police began searching, and this is who they're looking for. A black female, about 5'5", five five, weighing 150 to 160 pounds, who was most likely wearing a wig. Shannara's family thought the kidnapper was a hospital employee. The woman even called the baby by name. But all that help in the hospital room suddenly became a mother's nightmare. Yeah, I try to think positive. I think the lady just trying to help my baby. Then again, I think my baby could be crashed. She could take, she could be trying to take pills and smother my baby. I don't know what to think. And that would be the that would be the happiest thing in the world to be right now is to hold my baby. Now, strangely enough, her abductor that posed as a nurse interacted with the baby's family prior to the kidnapping, letting them feel cool and comfortable with her being around them. By the time the police were alerted, the abductor was gone, and so was the baby. Now, how could a woman come home with a brand new baby and no explanation? Well, the abductor, whose name Gloria Williams, was reeling from a miscarriage, and she drove from South Carolina to Jacksonville, posing as a nurse, and took the baby right out of her mother's arms. Now, the baby was originally named Kamaya Mobley, but once taken from her birth mother, the lady now posing as her mother names her Alexis Manigo. Now, after all of these years, Kamaya Mobley is now growing up as Alexis Manigo in what many will see as a loving home and what many will see with a loving mother, not knowing that a deep, dark secret followed all of this happiness. Now, Alexis applies for her first job and couldn't provide a social security card or a birth certificate. This is when she knew something was wrong. So Kamaya, now known as Alexis, goes up to the woman that she thinks is her mother, Gloria Williams, and she requests her birth certificate and her social security card. Now Gloria kept pushing her off and pushing her off until Kamaya, now known as Alexis, demands that she receives this information. That's when Gloria let her know that I can't give you this information because I kidnapped you at birth. I previously lost a baby, drove to Jacksonville, picked out a hospital and got you. Now the birth certificate that she had was fake and the social security number that she had belonged to a man that died in 1983. Crazy enough, two years went by and she just let it go. Now with the information she was given from the woman that she thought was her mother, Gloria Williams, she was able to locate her birth mother. She called her phone, heard her voice, and then hung up. Now y'all know being 18, you have something this big going on in your life, you just have to tell someone. So Kamaya, now known as Alexis, tells one of her friends. Well, her friend takes that information and she contacts the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children regarding Kamaya. The first tip was made on August 8, 2016, stating that Kamaya told her friend. Now, the second tip was made on November 8, 2016, when an unnamed person claimed that Williams had allegedly admitted to the kidnapping. Gloria Williams was charged with kidnapping and interfering with custody. <laughs> so 
So let me just pause right here and say that what this woman did to Kamaya and her family is disgusting, horrific, and mind-boggling. But the person I feel the most hurt for is Kamaya because of all the confusion she has to go through. Cause it's like this side is over here, this side is over here, this side hate this side, this side doesn't want to talk to this side, it's just it was too much. Today, she goes by both names, her family in Florida calling her Kamaya, her family in South Carolina, Alexis. She says she is optimistic, ready to move on and move forward with her now much larger family. How can she mentally at age 18 disown the only person that she knows as her mother and openly take her birth family that she has never met? I can't imagine it y'all and this is what made the story so different because it's so seldom that after 18 years family recovers their kidnapped child and if a child is recovered they at least know their first family somewhat. This child was taken before she she even left the hospital with her family so unfortunately Gloria is all she knows well if all of that wasn't enough to make this story more newsworthy Kamaya's life after the world found out who she was gets even crazier Gloria was arrested and charged with kidnapping and interfering with custody after that Kamaya ends up meeting her birth family and after that everyone thought that this would be a happily ever after story but that is so wrong because Kamaya viewed this woman that abducted her as her mother and still called her mother not only still called her her mother but still checked on her while she was in jail Kamaya's actual birth mother was not able to take this and things took a toll on the family she prayed on a child and we would not be in here if it was a grown woman. She wouldn't have went into a grown woman's room and done that. Okay, you're saying because you were so young. Yeah, because I was young and she came in there and prayed on the child and that's what she's doing to my child. Yes. I am your mother, Kamaya. So I, I still lost. It's no winning situation. I don't have a relationship with my child. Right now, speaking as this woman, so I still lost. So what did I gain? Nothing. And honestly, I wish sometimes she would have never came back. That I do wish. Because it takes a toll. Because I'm a mother first. And it takes a toll on my other children. My daughter is going to the 10th grade. Well, she has to argue with people to defend her mother. She's on Facebook defending. My kid, my other babies, they are babies. They shouldn't have to go out in that world and experience that stuff. That shouldn't have to be their life. And this is what Gloria and Kamaya brought upon my children. And I truly, really feel deep in my heart. I just wish she wouldn't have never came back. I really do. Because you came back. This woman made a mockery of my life when she took my baby. And not only did you make a mockery when you brought my baby back, but you let her help you make a mockery of my life. And this judge allowed this lady to keep reaching out to my child every day. So she's still committing a crime. And you had the right to stop that and you did not. So no, I don't have no respect for that judge. I don't. And no, I'm not celebrating Kamaya's 20th birthday. This is the second Mother's Day. I didn't get a text. I didn't get a call. I didn't get a card. Nothing. So no, I'm not celebrating her 20th birthday. Now, because of their strange relationship, Kamaya went to Ayala Van Zandt, fixed my life, but unfortunately, her mother did not show up. Kamaya ended up quitting the show and was very, very upset with Ayala. Although her family says more went into the story than what we saw. What the f is your problem, bitch? Father wants to know these people. I'm not doing this. I'll curse this bitch out. I'm not to swing on this. Oh, swear no I bad. said it was swear your no. choice. Tell this old bitch she'll get slapped. Gloria Williams is still in contact with Kamaya and is serving 18 years, which she tried to appeal. Kamaya has recently communicated back with her mom and the story of her life goes on. So I'm praying Lifetime gets this movie right because this story will definitely be a touching one. Now Niecy Nash will play Gloria Williams, Taronda Jones will play Kamaya's birth mom, Shannara Mobley, and Raven Simone Farrell will play Kamaya. Will you be watching? The movie is set to premiere in 2020. I need to hear from you. What do you guys think of Robin Roberts and Lifetime bringing this movie to life? What do you think about the cast? And will you be watching? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later.
Bye. Now before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. Also make sure to check out X Moisture which is a 100% organic moisturizer that destroys all your skin problems. Eczema, dry skin, rosacea, you name it they got you covered. They also have before and after pictures. Check them out at www.xmoisture.com and tell them your girl Chronicles sent you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.